We begin by lighting our candle to remember God's light is with us wherever we are. And we're back in ordinary time now, or the season of Pentecost. During this time, our church colours are green. Like green growing things, our faith is growing and changing, even though there aren't any big festivals. During this time, we hear stories about Jesus' life and work. Filled with the Holy Spirit, Jesus went out among the people to heal the sick, to raise the dead to new life, to bring good news to the poor, and to give hope to people who were sad or scared or lonely. He told stories and he showed people what God is like. He chose 12 disciples, his friends and helpers, to share his life and his work. Many people were following Jesus. Sometimes there were big crowds following him. Some people, the wealthy and powerful people, were afraid of the crowds because they thought Jesus might take away their power. Other people thought that what Jesus was saying didn't make any sense and they were afraid. Some of them went to Jesus' mother and his family and said, you need to help Jesus. He's saying things that don't make any sense. We're worried he isn't well. Maybe he's even joined the enemy's side. When Jesus heard about this, he said, I am able to heal people who aren't well, to cast out demons from the enemy. If I had joined the enemy's side, how would I cast out the enemy? We would be on the same side. My power, therefore, comes from God. But Jesus' mother and brothers came anyway. They couldn't get near him because so many people were sitting around him and listening to him. But some of his friends said, Jesus, your mother is here. Your brothers are here. Come see your family. But Jesus replied, Truly, I tell you, Everyone here is my family. Whoever does what God wants is my brother, my sister, my mother. And everyone who heard him wondered about what he meant. And now we're going to wonder too. And if you want to pause the video to wonder with the people that you're with, you can do that. I wonder what your favourite part of that story was. I wonder what the most important part of that story was. I wonder what Jesus meant when he said everyone who does what God wants is his family. I wonder what it means to be a family. I wonder what being a family is supposed to feel like. I wonder what places in your life feel like that. I wonder if your church feels like a family. I wonder what Jesus' mother and brothers felt and thought when they heard him say that. I wonder what Jesus' friends and the people listening felt and thought when they heard him say that. I wonder if you have any thoughts or questions or ideas about the story. I wonder if there's anything in your house that you'd like to use to make something or play with this story. And we can keep wandering throughout the week, but for now, our story is finished.